Today is a bittersweet day for us here at The Daily Show because today is the last day we get to see Hassan Minaj. Um, yeah, apparently, apparently the Muslim ban is far-reaching, <laughs> way more far-reaching than we realized, uh, so he's got to leave and never come back. So, ladies and gentlemen, one last time, please welcome Hassan Minaj! <laughs> You know, Trev, I'm really gonna miss this place. The friends, the laughs, the security guard who inspects your mouth with his bare fingers. We, we don't have a security guard who does that. Huh. I don't know who that was then. Well, well either way, we're gonna miss you too, man. Uh, but we're really happy for you. I know that you'll have your own show starting soon. Uh, but, like, what's, what's, what's in store for Hassan Minaj? Like, what are you doing for the rest of the summer? Any big plans? Well, my plan was to go see a bunch of movies starring Daily Show people. We got Crazy Rich Asians with Ronnie Chang. <laughs> the Spy Who Dumped Me with breakout star Hassan Minaj, of course. <laughs> Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. And I know what you're probably thinking. Wait, Meryl Streep isn't on The Daily Show. But the truth is, she's been playing Roy Wood Jr. this <laughs> entire time. That's just how good she is. Wow. Now I'm not sure she should have used the N-word so often. That was intense. <laughs> but now, my summer plans are ruined, Trevor, and I'll tell you why. Movie Pass is burning to the ground. For frequent moviegoers, the subscription service called Movie Pass seemed like a great deal. Pay just $10 a month to see a movie every single day. But as its popularity surged, the company's finances took a hit. A lot of crises, financial and otherwise, and bleeding a lot of cash. At one point, losing roughly $20 million a month. In a desperate attempt to stay in business, Movie Pass will now only allow users to see three movies in a month. Only three movies a month? This is horrible. Thanks to Movie Pass, I was paying $10 a month for $500 worth of movie tickets. I was going every single afternoon. Wait, like in the middle of the work day? Yeah. What did you think I was doing when I said how to, I had all those doctor appointments? I thought you were seeing a doctor. Yeah, Doctor Strange. I've seen it 12 times. <laughs> now, Trevor, as a child of immigrants, movies have always been my way to connect to American culture. And more importantly, Indians love bargains. So now what am I gonna do? Well, what you could do now is you could just buy a ticket for a movie you wanna see, like a normal person. <laughs> okay, 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 go buy a ticket. All right, Trevor, what are you gonna tell me next? Get a ride by holding my hand in the air? <laughs> what is this, 2004? I only hold my hand in the air for one reason, and that's to high-five a friendly ghost. L look, I, I get why you're upset, Hassan, but, but when you think about it, how is MoviePass ever going to succeed as a business, right? It's $10 a month for nearly unlimited movies. That's crazy. Dude, what are you talking about? We're millennials, man. It's all about subscription culture. You pay a small fee, and in exchange, you get everything. <laughs> unlimited streaming from Netflix and Spotify, unlimited shipping from Amazon Prime, unlimited STDs from Tinder. It's how we live life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the only way MoviePass would have worked is if everyone subscribed, right? Then the people who don't use it as much would have subsidized the people who use it all the time. This is actually why Obamacare struggled, because young people didn't want to sign up, and then only older sick people were using the service. Oh, I get what you're saying. We need to combine Movie Pass and Obamacare. No, 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 that's not, that's I not... I read you loud and clear, Trev, that is an amazing idea. I get it, I get it. Okay, so young people get movies, old sick people get health care, we'll call it Movie Care. <laughs> or Obama Pass, I don't know, we're working on the title. But just picture it, you're in the movie theater, right? You're watching, let's just say, The Spy Who Dumped Me starring Hasan Minhaj. <laughs> You're getting your popcorn on, you're getting your soda on, and now, thanks to Movie Pass, you're also getting a colonoscopy. <laughs> you're welcome, Obama. Hassan Minaj, everybody! <laughs> One last time! <laughs>